getting really weird, the light right now, or it's really hard to see. Oh, oh, got her. You got it. Keep reeling, Augie. Keep reeling. Very nice fish, Augie. I don't even care what happened for us today, do you? I don't even care. It was already an amazing day, right? It's January 19th here in South Texas. I'm hoping to see them on beds because all the bodies of water I've been around lately, they've actually been displaying spawning like material. Or spawning like activity I should say. It's also pretty windy as you can probably tell so might be a difficult task but I'm trying to get it done here today. <laughs> Scared me a little bit. It's <laughs> pretending to shoot a duck I guess. Is he jumping in the water to get him? No. Come on. He is jumping in the water to get him. Oh no. Ooh. There's a nice bass right there. Saw a bed close by too. Might be sitting either on that bed or someone who made that bed. That'd be a pretty big male. It's staying close around though, so I think that is its bed somehow. get some time looking at this fish for sure. Well, I said it was hanging around, but I don't see it now. I need to reset and get a better angle on it. Smaller bass sitting right here too. Several bass right here in this little pod. Oh yeah, a real nice one right there. I think that's its bed too. I really do. Yeah, there's a smaller one coming up too. I think this is a pair right here. I think I encroached on them a little too fast though. I came right up on their bed, so I'm gonna back off here and actually put on a, a weighted bait. So I can hop it right in front of them and try to trigger them more. Okay, I've got my little crawdad tie on here. The smaller one's going for it. The smaller one's not that small either. It's still a decent fish. Every time that bigger one comes around though, he goes and pays attention to her. I'm not sure that she's laid eggs yet. That's the bad deal. Kind of hard to get a pair that hadn't laid their eggs yet. They're still interested in each other. Oops. Looked at it pretty hard there and then turned away. I think I'm getting too close to him is the problem. Golly. So hard to see. There she is. She runs off pretty quick, but he sticks around and looks at it for a little bit. I think he's definitely catchable. She might be. Oop, oop, nipped at it. Oh, he nipped at it right there, yep. He is definitely. 
relatively catchable. <laughs> he nipped at the claws right there, right when I was about to lift it out of the water. There he is again. Come on, dude, eat it. Oop. Oop, oop. Oh, yeah. He's whipping around on it, getting real irritated. Ooh. Got him. Oh, no. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Oh, no. That fish might be ruined. That pear might be ruined. I don't know. Hopefully she's in there now. Or hopefully he's more irritated and doesn't go away. I don't know. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. There was my shot. While I was sitting here, I actually went and adjusted my rig a little bit. I put on a different hook that reaches further back into the crawdad and I put on a little bit heavier weight so that it can drop down a little faster in front of them. And I have been seeing these fish still around here a little bit, so I'm gonna try to sneak around them here to where I was before. See if we can get either one of these fish to bite again. sitting right there. Oop. And the smaller one just ate it. On the first pitch. Nice. Nice. I didn't even see him eat it. I just felt it in my rod. That's the smaller one. That is the male that I already hooked earlier. There's a bigger one in there too. Wow. I wasn't even on the bed yet. I think that heavier weight like I said, just dropped so fast right in front of him that he couldn't stand it. And he just ate it on the first pitch back in there. Nice. Nice, nice. January 19th. Pair of fish on a bed. Pair of fish on a bed. Wow, and that's a nice one. And the female is even nicer. Let's see what she's doing now. Hmm. Sometimes the females will get more in there when the males are gone. Sometimes they'll go away. I don't see her right now. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and let him go back in here. That was nice. Thank you for that, buddy. Yes. Redemption. I got him back again. I did not think that was going to happen. one sitting right there. It'll be hard to pitch to though. It's right in a little hole. Oh yeah, it's a pair. It's two fish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. See all that swirling and that stick moving right there? There's two bass rubbing on each other on the bed right there. Pretty nice ones too. <sighs> wow. Didn't spook off and my bait landed right on top of them. That's a good sign. Definitely not liking my bait being in there. Not really chasing it either though. At the moment. Got to get them fired up a little bit here. You know what? I brought another rod with me that's got heavier line on it. That I'm going to tie a Texas rig on. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to my car and get that set up for this particular pair here. I'm not liking what's going on here pitching this light line over this stuff they're not really reacting well either so I think a Texas rig might get them better all right I've got my Texas rig on here and I've actually just got a white trick worm because I don't think a natural bait is really gonna matter on these fish they are pretty darn locked into this bed so I want a bait I can see if at all possible so I'm gonna start with this white bait and see if they'll react on it well Not the best pitch, but it might work. I think I need to be further over to the left of my presentations. Oop. Female's looking at it there for a second. Like I said, I think I need to be further to the left of my presentations though. Oop. 
something else turning on it. Come on, girl, get it. Female is actually being more aggressive right now to start out with, which is unusual. Oh. Oh. Just bumped the female, and she turned on it for a second, but gosh, they're real in tune with each other, also. Not going to be as easy as I thought when I first walked up. I don't like that, those big hops. They tend to look at it when it does that, but it gets out of that bed so fast. Just got to make a lot of pitches when that's happening. You know what? I'm going to put a crawdad on and see if that natural presentation will get them to bite here. I'm going to start bumping them more aggressively here now. Try and make them react. Moving in on it. Like I said though, they don't really like that soak and see it. When I went to reel it up, he even reacted a little bit. They like it moving a lot. Oh, oh no! Male had it. The male had it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Ooh, 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 the female just ran at it really hard. Come on, girl. Wow. Yeah, she just ran at it really hard. Oh no! No, 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 no. Dang it, dang it, dang it. The big one ate it. Oh no, 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 no. Crap, crap, crap. I'm not sure if she had it enough to get hooked, but oh my goodness. Yep, it hopped off a piece of grass right in front of her face. And she nipped it. I actually felt it a little bit in my rod, too. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. The female, too, the big one. Golly. Oh, she ate it at least somewhat. Wow, that's crazy. That's frustrating. Come on, girl. Do it again. She gets irritated when it bumps her and stuff. That's the deal. Just gotta keep on flipping and try to get her before it gets too dark here. When it bumps her and when it makes big movements, she doesn't like it. I just gotta keep my bait moving, keep flipping. Before I lose daylight here. I don't know how it looks in person. I mean, in on the camera, but in person. It's getting really weird, the light right now, or it's really hard to see. Oh, oh. Got her. Got her. Got the female. Nice. Come on, girl. Get up here. Yes, yes, yes. Got it. Got her. Got her. Got her. Yes! Popped off a little piece of grass. And she just ate it. She's not quite as big as I thought. But very fat. Very nice fish. Probably about four pounds. Not five or six like I was thinking. But still... 
very nice fish and I will take it like I said January 26th already pairing up and able to be caught off of beds here in South Texas I love it I love it I love it look at that thick girl look at the belly on that thing oh yeah very nice healthy fish like I said probably about four pounds very very nice one made me work for it really hard thank you girl you go have a nice spawn there she goes <laughs> yes sir got the female first nice Let's see if I can get this male to eat over here on this bed, I guess. I haven't found any other fish worth trying to catch, so. God, I can't see very well at all, though. If I wouldn't have seen these fish before, I wouldn't have even known they were here right now. I'm trying not to get the female again. I want to get the male to bite if I can. But as you can see, he is rolling her around like crazy. Can't see the male most of the time. I'm just going to keep pitching around the female. I hope that he's there by her like he normally is when I see him. Hopefully she doesn't bite again. I don't think she will. She was pretty darn smart the first time. A lot of movement going on around there. Swirling to the top of the water. Got one. Hopefully it's a smaller one. I can't believe I'm saying that, but <laughs> hopefully it's the male. I think it is. Yes, it is. That's the male. So now, I've caught the male and the female off of that bed. Very nice. Did not think I was going to be able to get both of them. It's getting pretty dark here. The light is at a very weird angle. <laughs> But there's probably about a, I don't know, two and a quarter, maybe close to two and a half pound male off of that same bed right there where I caught that four pound female earlier. Very nice. Got both of them. Thank you for playing, guys. That was fun.